Hey, welcome back to Windy Hill. Beautiful day in Oklahoma. Uh, temperature's about in the 60s, kind of cloudy. Um, and today I was going to show you a little piece. I picked up, picked this up on Amazon, and it's a little fitting. Just goes on the end of an air hose, and has the garden hose fitting on the end of it. Why the heck do you want one of those? Well, like today, like I said, it's in the 60s, and then tomorrow night. It's going to be in the low 30s. You know, here in Oklahoma, I think we hold a record for it. Uh, it was 30 below one day. This is in the winter of 2010. It was 30 below zero one day, and then within that same week, it got up to 70. So we have some pretty wide temperature swings. I don't know if you can see it behind me or not, but uh, I've got a brush pile back there. Um, I burn these sometimes in the winter. I try to wait till after a snow or a rain, and uh, today, I even washed my truck. Huh, can you believe that? Uh, anyway, um, so considering our weather changes in the winter, you know, like if I want to burn that brush pile, I kind of like to have it close enough that I can get a garden hose to it. And in case it gets a little out of control, then I will have to kind of cool it down. We'll put it out. Now, how do you do that with our weather swings? Uh, I'm going to show you. Okay, as I said, our temperatures vary a lot. So when I use a garden hose, either for washing my truck or, or burning this brush pile back here, um, I don't want to leave water in it because the worst thing can happen is you get out here and light that fire up and then you come around and turn on a water hose and it's froze. So how are you going to keep it from freezing? Well, easiest way in the world is to get the water out of it. So I'm going to drain this hose and I'm going to get hooked up and I'll show you how I do this. All right, I've disconnected the hose from my hose bib on the side of the house. I've got this little fitting. It's just like hooking up to a hydrant. All right, I've disconnected my hose from the hose bib. I've connected it to that little fitting I told you I got on Amazon. I've got my pressure on my compressor in the shop set on about 30 PSI because I don't want to blow the hose up. And this is the business end of the hose. So now I'm going to do is open this valve, and I'm going to blow all this water out. It takes a couple of minutes, maybe, and then it'll just keep blowing until all the water's gone and you have air coming out. I don't have any background music, so you just have to tough it out. Trust me, it just takes a little bit. This is a 150 foot hose, so that's part of the deal. Alright, and that's it. Then I'll, I'll shut off my valve, I'll disconnect my hose, put it back on the reel, which is behind me here. My little homemade, made that out of an old car wheel. I'm good to go. So that way when I turn on the water uh, on a sub-freezing day, then I have water. I don't have ice trying to come out the end of it. Okay, as I said earlier, I picked up this little fitting. It's just got a hose quick connect, the air hose quick connect on it, and a garden hose thread on the other, and a little cheap valve in the middle. If you want to, you can take all three of these pieces apart if you don't like that valve, which I really don't. <clears throat> it's just a little cheap one and just get you a new quarter inch valve and fix it right up. But I'm gonna use that one until it quits. So anyway, that's how I do that. Keep the hoses blown out and that way, no freeze ups in the winter. And this little thing, I went on Amazon looking and just for one, and they had a deal where two of them for $12 and some change. So pretty good investment. Like I said, uh, you don't end up with <clears throat> a frozen uh, frost free hydrant on the side of your house and you don't end up with frozen hoses if you need them in the winter time so all right well that's about all i got today so thank you guys for taking the time to watch if you thought this was interesting just give us a thumbs up give us a like and if you thought it was boring as sin then uh, give me a thumbs down but be nice tell me why so and we'll keep trying to work on these thank you very much